So hey guys and welcome back to Born Traveller. Right, today's video is a tech video on the comparison between the Femi Palm and the GoPro 7 Black. Which one is better for vlogging? Let's find out. So previously when I was traveling, I was in India and I was using a GoPro 7 White. Uh, I was quite happy with the camera. It shoots 1080 plate at 30 frames a second. It wasn't amazing, but it was all I could afford at the time. The stability was pretty good. The footage was okay um, and more importantly the audio was pretty good it's as good as the GoPro 7 Black and that's really what I ordered it for because I just needed an all-round camera that could go anywhere do anything and was cheap and the GoPro uh, White 7 was just the perfect one. Now I'm back in England I've got a little bit more money so I bought both cameras I bought the Femi Palm um, which is a, an alternative to the DJI Pocket. It's a very small camera that can shoot 4K at 30 frames a second. And the reason I didn't go for the DJI Pocket for two reasons. A, it's twice as much, and B, its field of view is, is narrower, narrower than the, uh, the GoPro 7 Black, so it's not really a good comparison. However, this is a fixed focus, 120 degree angle view, I do believe, I might be slightly wrong on that, but it's, it's basically a wide view. So it's very similar to the GoPro 7 Black. So um, that's why I went with that one. So what do I think of the Femi Palm? Well, the Femi Palm is a nice little alternative to the DJI Pocket. Um, but I think actually it's still separate from the GoPro because it's so niche. Um, and it has so many limitations compared to the GoPro. Um, this obviously is going to get you more cine cinematic footage, but with that wide lens, you're kind of losing the cinematic footage. You can shoot in a narrower uh, frame, but it's it's not great. It's limited at 4K, 30 frames a second, and when you do do that, it gets very hot. I, I'm not taking it traveling, so I don't know if it'll overheat. I've got a feeling it's going to overheat quite quickly. Um, uh, battery life's to about two, two and a half hours. So the battery life's okay, but obviously it's a fixed battery. So that once the battery's dead, you can't replace it. Whereas the GoPro, you can always buy spare batteries and swap it out as you need. So let's break down the pros of the Femi Palm. Well, it's obviously gonna be more stable. You are gonna get probably better footage, low light. And also it's very, very small. I mean, it's tiny. I mean, look, my, it's small in my hand. It's so small, it's ridiculously small. So that will go in your pocket and it can go anywhere. Whereas the GoPro, really, to use it properly, you're going to need some kind of tripod. Um, I suppose technically you could hold it like that. The image stabilisation is good enough, but who wants to be holding a camera like that? And you know, it's it's not it's not ideal. The Femi is just better. You can properly grip it, and, and it does have a little joystick. That's where it's better over the DJI Pocket. You've got that beautiful joystick. You can rotate it and, and pan. So the Femi Palm actually is is it's got better footage than the DJI. I I think it's just. It's, got a better colour profile and it's definitely stabler. Um, the stabilisation this is insane. Um, it's also got a tripod mount so you know it is pretty versatile. The cons obviously it's not waterproof, it is pretty delicate, um, it does have only one battery so it's some, once you've used that two and a half hour battery that's it you've got to wait until it's charged again. I think the main thing is it's just that delicacy. It's just you can't take it anywhere and when you're a travel vlogger you want to be able to just get that camera out and use it wherever you want it you know wherever you stick it on a tripod you do what you want with it so there are limitations to this i could see with some travel vloggers this would be the perfect option for them maybe they want a more cinematic look and they just want to carry something very small in their pocket but then if you're going to do that you may as well just spend a bit of extra money and buy a better phone um you know you can always remember your phone does shoot uh, if you buy a good phone it will shoot good good footage so um maybe this is just something else to carry and i don't know i just for me i don't see where i'd use it properly so what are the pros of the gopro well first of, first of all versatility uh you can take this anywhere it's waterproof um and basically you can change the lens you can change the battery um so you know you can carry and shoot as much as you want the only thing you really got to worry about in terms of durability is the is the LCD screen, but this protective case, is, you've got to do some proper damage to it to, to break it. Um, you know, I've seen other videos where they've tried to break one of these things, and it is breakable, but not that easy, especially for a travel vlogger. You really shouldn't be breaking one. 
it shoots 4K at 60 frames a second, which is pretty much the standard of vlogging nowadays, but I'm a YouTuber and to be honest, 1080p at 60 frames a second is way plenty for me. I think one of the other pros is because you're shooting a wide angle, you never have to worry about you, you being in shot. You know you're going to be in shot. And it's the same with the Fiend Palm, actually. You can pretty much, as long as that camera's pointing roughly at you, you know your face is going to be in shot. And I think that's, that's another advantage. Disadvantages, well, I think they're pretty obvious. Um, it's fixed field of view, but then that Femi Palm has a fixed field of view. Um, and, you know, it does have that GoPro colour. Not everybody likes that, but you can shoot in RAW on this. So, it, you know, it is pretty versatile. I think the main downside with both the Femi and this is low light. Low light performance on both of these cameras is shockingly bad. Um, and obviously it's going to be worse on the GoPro because it's using electronic stabilisation, whereas the, at least the Femi is using... A gimbal so um, it's gonna be slightly better but they are looking at the footage that I've managed to pull off it's absolutely shocking to be honest so what is the main difference between these two cameras well obviously the Femi is using um, mainly uh, gimbal stabilization and the GoPro is using electronic stabilization believe it or not actually the stabilization is not that much different but it depends on where you're using it as to how good it is if you start using low light, I would say the Femi probably is going to give you slightly better footage, whereas the GoPro, because of that electronic stabilisation, is probably not going to be slightly as good. But, you know, it is pretty close. The other main obvious difference is the GoPro, you can take this anywhere. It's waterproof, you can take it underwater. It's pretty durable, and the lens is replaceable. You wouldn't really be caring about throwing it in your bag, throwing it around. It's pretty... I wouldn't say indestructible, the LCD screen can get smashed, but you can attach it to your helmet. It's very, very versatile. So one of the other main differences between these two, probably one of the main, is audio. The audio off this GoPro is fantastic. You can use this without an external microphone, and to be honest, I'm quite happy with the audio. You don't need uh, the external mic, although you can attach one if you want to, but it is a bit of a pain in the ass, and it eliminates your waterproofing. The female on the other hand, oh my god, bad really bad um i think this is the one thing that has probably put me off it the most is the femi's audio is completely unusable you cannot use the f audio in any kind of situation to be honest apart from if it's deadly silent and you're not moving the camera which obviously as a travel vlogger is probably next to never other youtubers said just fix an external mic because it's got a usb-c i bought one the femi official one crap absolute crap worse than the uh worse than the thing so worse than the internal one so really not it, completely unusable so that would be my main reason for not buying the Femi. Uh, unless you're gonna you be doing the audio separate, like narrating, it's it's just not it's just not it's just not a, an option really. It's a shame because it's a lovely camera, but the audio is terrible. Whereas the GoPro, wow, this thing has got mics all over. I think it's got three or two, maybe four, um, and it it just just picks your voice up beautifully. It's got quite good wind noise reduction. Um, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it is good. In terms of software support, uh, I'd say the GoPro gets more updates. The Femi doesn't really have that many updates. However, the Femi is not actually that bad in terms of pulling the footage off. I have had problems in the past with my old GoPro. I've not had this one, but downloading the footage or getting the damn thing to connect. Sometimes your GoPro bloody app is terrible for getting to connect. So in that aspect, the Femi wins. It really does have quite stable um, app on the Femi Play. And it, you know, you, you can just download the footage and it's pretty good. You can also uh, stream as well. Uh, you can use it as like an external uh, streaming. I wouldn't recommend that, but it is an option. I would say that's the main disadvantage of GoPros is bloody app support. It's terrible, but it's, it is usable and it's not that bad. So overall guys, definitely go with the GoPro. The Femi is good, but for travel vlogging, I probably won't recommend it because of the audio. So that's it guys for this video. As I say, I recommend the GoPro. Um, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.